trellis that you could actually manipulate even into an obelisk if you wanted to do something like that. Here from Veg Truck is a set of three four pocket railing planters. Brilliant, brilliant for $29.16. And it can be on any kind of railing, as long as the railing is anywhere from one inch to six inches. And you just, I mean, look at the difference on a fence post, on a gate. Um, important thing, final quantities of the season. Final 1,400 remain, and you can get it home for $9.72. Now, there are three colors. There you can see the, the red is sold out, sorry. Um, the black is available, so if you have black wrought iron, that would be very pretty. There is the purple, or I have the purple in front of me. There's the black, and then we also have blue. So there are three colors. There's your blue, we have black, and we have purple. And you get not one of these wonderful reusable pocket bags that will just go over your railing, but you are going to get three of them for $29.16. All right, Ginger, make my day. These things are brilliant. Isn't it wonderful yes. just to have something so simple, but the impact that this makes is amazing. It's like having 12 different potted plants around your deck railing where you otherwise on the flip side wouldn't be able to see the plants. Now you can enjoy them from both sides of your deck railing. And what it is, is a saddle design. So as you said, any deck railing from one inch to six inches, right out of the box, it's that saddle design made out of a breathable, durable, lined felt. And I think it actually has a very soft, wonderful look to it. Don't you, Pat? Well, these are very so similar, pretty. Ginger, to a grow bag. And grow bags are what I grow yes. my potatoes in a grow bag. You know, it depends on what I have extra. Sometimes I've grown tomatoes in a grow bag. I and mean, you can find grow bags, but it's that same kind of reusable, durable, breathable. The roots won't rot in this. It's a really great way to grow herbs and flowers. It really is the simplicity of it and the fact that we're getting, we're giving to you three of them. It's actually brought to us by, if, you, if you've if you ever tuned in with us and Pat, you have the veg trunk, mm -hmm. that wonderful cedar upright container uh, planter that is wonderful. This is just another way that you can utilize that space that you already have, but you can now really make it just absolutely gorgeous. Each one of these little pockets holds about three quarts of soil in each pocket. And it's generous enough where you're gonna be able to fill. And look at this, look at the impact that this is making on both sides. So if I'm outside playing with my daughter or outside doing gardening, I can see the other side of this beautiful uh, railing planter but when I'm sitting on the inside of the deck or on the deck um, and I'm entertaining or I'm having a cup of coffee, now I can also enjoy those wonderful plants. Beautiful. If, you're, if you love to grow your own herbs, this is so simple, right out of the box. You don't need any tools. You don't need any, any, any uh, like a screwdriver or any additional things to be able to use this. Right out of the box, you just put it right over your deck railing, whether you have a wood, a vinyl, a chain link, or a metal fence, or even just, um, I, I talk about like a mailbox post or even mm, that a would little, be pretty. That, right? A little section that you have that uh, those little holders that are on the, the, um, the lanterns, you know, right, like right. they stick them mm -hmm. out for like a flag or what have yeah. you. This is about 17 inches wide. So if you're thinking, yeah, I'd like to do that. I have that as well. This is going to make such a gorgeous impact with your gorgeous flowers, with your beautiful herbs that you have right from your kitchen to your table. And it's simple design. Look at that. Well, here's Isn't the other great? nice thing about it, Ginger, is you don't have to have a big area to do it. This yep, could be, right. maybe you have a little patio, an apartment, or you've downsized and you have, you know, you miss gardening. You're, you're still gardening. 
you don't just have to you know dig in the ground or put all kinds of containers it's also up high so if you have a dog or a cat and you're a little worried about them going after something or a my rabbit boy. or yeah. my <laughs> least favorite groundhog that's already you know angling right. for my garden um, this keeps things up high so you know it does it, it's it for does. smaller plants but and the other nice thing ginger is at the end of the season I take that dirt I get rid of it I rinse it yep. I let it dry and this is all I'm storing from That's season it. to season. I just think it's so beautiful. You know, a lot of you it are is. getting more than one. This would be fun for the kids to garden with, you know? It is, it, it makes it nice and easy. It's at a great height so that, you know, your kids can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You get a set of three. So, you know, there's enough planting that you can do for everyone in the family and keeping it nice. I love the bright colors too. I do you can too, mix yeah. and match and, and put the bright colors in there as well. And I, I love the color choices that we have remaining. Those are so fun. That bright pop of purple is so gorgeous. And that blue, if you have a pool, amazing. <laughs> I am in, my friend. That this <laughs> I know, right? I love everything that Ben Strug does. Summer, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ginger. You and your beautiful you, family have a great day. Good to see you. You too, sweetheart. Right. You too. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. From Sunjo, and we thought. This